Next up, let's turn to, in our Bibles to the book of Ezekiel, chapter 36. What else other than violence and wars happening in Israel, in Israel today? Ezekiel, chapter 36, please turn there, is one of the few prophecies that the Lord is currently fulfilling in Israel's history. Ezekiel, chapter 36, verse 24 through 28. Verse 24, God is speaking once again. He says this, For I will take you from the nations, gather you from all the lands, and bring you into your own land. This is God's promise to the Jewish people and to the land, of course, of Israel. What is he going to do? He is regathering the Jewish people from around the world. And guess what? This is a prophecy that is being fulfilled right now. And has been for the last hundred years, folks. In the late 1800s, early 1900s, many Jewish people started buying land from the Muslims. Land from in Israel. Back then it was swamp land. It was just desert. It was land that was not being used very well at all. Barely any Jewish people lived in the land. That's why God was not blessing the land. But from that time to this, the last hundred years, a little bit more than a hundred years, there's almost seven million Jewish people living in the land right now, and God has tremendously blessed the land. And he continues to regather the Jewish people. That's going to continue on all the way into Tribulation period, I believe. Next verse 25 is a verse that has not been fulfilled in Israel's history as yet. Verse 24 is, being, is currently being fulfilled. That's the regathering. Verse 25 now talks about the judgment that God is going to bring upon Israel. He says this, Then I will sprinkle clean water on you, and you will be clean, and I will cleanse you from all your filthiness, from all your idols. You see, has God cleansed Israel from all their filthiness, all their sin, from all their idol worship? No. Israel is like a, a small little United States. It's a melting pot of religions. And there's a lot of people there worshiping idols, a lot of people sinning up a storm. So verse 25 has yet to be fulfilled. But it will be fulfilled in the future. When exactly? It's God's judgment upon Israel. He's regathering all the Jewish people back to the land of Israel so that he can judge them in the tribulation period. Jacob's trouble. In verse 26. Moreover, I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit within you. And I will remove the heart of stone from your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. To me, this is God working amongst the Jewish people in that tribulation period, that time, seven years of God's judgment coming not only upon the world, but upon Israel's will. He's going to change their heart of stone and, and change it into a heart of flesh, getting them ready to believe on guess who? Their Jewish Messiah. Upon Yeshua. Take a look at verse 27. Here it is. And I will put my ruach, my spirit, within you and cause you to walk in my statutes. And you will be careful to observe my ordinances. I will put my spirit within you. The only way anybody, Jew or Gentile, can receive, uh, can receive salvation today is by receiving Yeshua HaMashiach as Lord and Savior of their lives. That's the only way you can have the Holy Spirit to come inside of you. And this is what God's saying here. I will put my spirit within you. And then they're going to be able to be walking in his statutes. Walking in his new and improved Torah for the kingdom. The messianic millennial kingdom. And so here, verse 27, salvation. First you have the regathering of the Jewish people. Then judgment at the tribulation period. And at the end of the tribulation, salvation for the Jewish people. The one-third that makes it through the tribulation, they will be saved by the Lord. Their name is written in the book of life. And they will receive the Holy Spirit, the Ruach Chodesh. Verse 28, and then God's blessings poured out upon them. 
as if that wasn't enough. Verse 28, and you will live in the land that I gave to your forefathers so that you will be my people and I will be your God. This is the final restoration of the Jewish people in belief of Yeshua. And they will live in the land in the millennial kingdom, the messianic millennial kingdom. And fulfill, God will fulfill his promise that he gave to Abraham and to David. He promised that the Jewish people will live in the land under King Messiah, King Yeshua. And be blessed greatly in that kingdom. And finally, as the scripture says, here the Jewish people, they will become God's people. And God says, and I will be your God. Finally. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. And so that's what's going on now today in Israel. If we take a look at the chart, let's put the chart up on the screen. You take a look at the chart, we see some effects of Israel today. And truly, these are also effects of the Ezekiel War. So we're going to come back to this in just a a moment, but you see the circles there, regathering of Israel. There's going to be a regathering of the Jewish people back to the land. There's going to be talk of a peace treaty, which there is now even, but it's going to increase as we go. And there's also going to be a, great, a greater desire to build the temple. The third temple will be built very soon. And so that continues. That desire will continue amongst the Jewish people and and I think we're going to see the world encouraging it as well.